Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Sales Unboxing. If you'd like to know what exciting gears I may be unboxing next, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Having a good pair of headphones or headset have become the necessity for leisure and professional gaming nowadays. No matter they are used for listening to what your comrades are shouting on the other side of the screen, or simply enjoying the rich music scores and dialogues. And of course, you want to immerse yourself in your own gaming world without all the ambience noises around you. However, there are tons, and I have to stress, tons of headphones out there, from around 20 bucks to a couple hundred dollars, depending on your budget and how good you want the sound quality to be. So today, we are going to unbox this Kraken V3X gaming headset from Razer. Back when I was unboxing the Razer Enzo smart glasses a couple episodes back, I've talked briefly about some information of the company Razer, so I'm not going to bother you with their details further. But we do know that Razer manufactures a lot of different gaming peripherals. If you simply type Razer peripherals in your browser, you'll probably be overwhelmed by the sheer number of results. When it comes to choosing the right pair of headphones though, we mostly look into just a couple of things, unless you're very tech savvy and are constantly looking for the best pair. So let's unbox this and talk about it further. Here you go. Razer says the Kraken V3X gaming headset is ultra lightweight. And we can see, which is just 285 grams. So it won't add too much pressure or weight on the head. I have headaches and migraines from time to time. So the lighter the headphones, the better off for me. The Kraken V3X has what Razer referred to as the hybrid fabric and memory foam ear cushions with cooling gel which are good because you don't want to have ear pain when you have your headset on for hours of gaming and cooling gel is exceptionally a good idea because my ears get hit up easily and I don't want to sweat my ear cushions and they have a pretty thick headband cushion as well so hopefully it won't put too, it will just put less strain on my on my head and of course less headaches too. Now let's check the cable. From what I can see, it's about two meters long. so you can move and swivel around at ease. Some people may ask, hey, it's still wired man, it's so inconvenient that others may trip over. One reason why gaming headsets are mostly wired, like this one, is to minimize the delay in sound transmission to the lowest extent, especially when you're in the heat of a battle and any delay in receiving your partner's request may mean life or death. That's something that Bluetooth headsets can really achieve no matter how little the latency is. Most if not all, headsets provide at least stereo audio to give you a sense of presence. But simply stereo doesn't satisfy our ears any longer. That's why manufacturers are giving us headsets with 5.1 or even 7.1 surround sound for accurate positional audio so you know which way the bullets are shooting at you or when a jet plane flies over your head. However, because of some incident when I was small, I don't have very sensitive hearing, so unfortunately, I can't really enjoy all the technologies or even full sound spectrum built in this headset. 
But the THS spa uh, spatial audio together with the Razer Chroma RGB colors as I said in here requires specialized software on PC to adjust which means console gamers can only use the headset as is Nonetheless, I love headsets and headphones and I've lost count of how many pairs of wired headphones or wireless earbuds I've bought and tried including those for gaming and daily uses Originally, I intended to buy this headset for the Xbox Series X simply because the color scheme matches that of the console. For some reason, even though all major gaming consoles and PCs have USB ports that support mainstream USB devices like headsets and portable hard drives, Xbox One and Xbox Series X don't support any USB wired headsets like this Razer Kraken V3X. I did some digging online. And most of the discussion forums simply said, no, it's not supported. If you want to use any wired headsets, you have to find those with a 3.5mm audio input and specifically used on Xbox consoles. My best guess is Microsoft wants to avoid any USB devices that may hack into the consoles unless it's Microsoft or Xbox certified. In the end, money spent, but I can use them on my Xbox. So lesson learned. I always do more research before investing in anything that will plug into your devices that you are trying to use on. So that's it for this episode of Self Unboxing. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And if you have any hack on how to use this headset on any of the Xbox consoles, you may leave your comment below as well. Oh, and if you're wondering what Kraken is, is the mythical sea monster of enormous size said to appear off the coast of Norway. And here are some illustrations of it. Have a great gaming session everyone.